welcome to today's lesson. We're still within the percentages topic and today we're going to look at using multipliers. So this is a new term for you. So the multiplier method is just a more efficient way of calculating a percentage increase or decrease, especially when you have your calculators. So all the multiplier is, is a decimal. So we need to work out the overall percentage that the question is working off and then we convert it to a decimal. So remember, going from a percentage to a decimal, you divide by 100. So the best way to show you how to work out a multiplier is through a couple of examples. So number one, what is the multiplier for a 3% increase? So remember, if you are increasing something, you start with your amount, which is 100%, and increase by 3%, you'd add on 3% to it. So we start with 100% always. Okay, the increase, like we said, means you're going to add on, so we add on the 3% here. So 100% add 3% gives you 103%. And then, like we said, we want to convert that percentage to a decimal, so we want to divide by 100. Remember, two hops to make it smaller, the decimal would be 1.03. And that is your multiplier. So your multiplier for a 3% increase is 1.03. Question 2, what is the multiplier for a 15% decrease? So remember when we're decreasing something, we start with that 100%. You'd work out the 15% and subtract it. So again, decrease, you want to take away. So you always start with your 100%. We are subtracting because we're decreasing and we're going to take away the percentage. So we're going to take away 15%. 100 to take away 15 gives you 85. So it gives you 85%. But then remember that's the percentage you want to convert to a decimal. So divide by 100, it gives you 0 0.85. So remember the decimal is the multiplier. So, the reason why it's called a multiplier is because you're just going to multiply that decimal with the amount given in the question to give you your answer. So you don't have to work out the percentage first, you just want to multiply the amount with your multiplier. So, we're going to have a look at a number of examples here on different increase-decrease questions. So, number one, increase £304 by 12%. So the first thing that I'm going to do is work out my multiplier. So remember, it's increase and by 12%. So we always start with our 100%. We're increasing, so we're adding the 12. 100 add 12 gives you 112%. And change to a decimal, divide it by 100, gives you 1.12. And then once you've got your multiplier, it is always the amount in the question times by the multiplier. So we're going to take this 304, so 304 times by this 1.12, and it will give you your final answer. So remember, these are normally calculator questions, so you can type it into your calculator. 304 times 1.12 gives you 340 pounds and 48 pence. Question two then. The price of a car costing £8,400 is decreased by 7%. So there's your important part, 8400 decreasing by 7%. What is the new price? So again, we're going to start with our multiplier. Remember, we're decreasing this time, so we need to make sure we take away. So you always start with your 100%. You want to subtract the percentage, so subtract the 7. 100 take away 7 gives you 93%. And remember, change to a decimal, divide by 100 to give you 0 0.93. Okay, so there's your multiplier. Now remember, once you have your multiplier, you take the amount and times it with the multiplier. So you're going to take that £8,400 and times it with that 0 0.93. Type that calculation into your calculator and it will give you your final answer. So you should get 7,812. Question three then. So Rory earns £22,000 each year. He gets a pay rise of 4.5% 
how much does he now earn each year? So pay rise is the same as an increase, so we're increasing it by 4.5%. So start with our multiplier, we have 100% always, and we're increasing, so we're adding on that 4.5%. 100 add 4.5 gives you 104.5%. Change to the decimal, so divide by 100, like I said, two hops smaller, 1.045. So there's our multiplier. Remember that little calculation, amount times the multiplier. So you're going to take the amount, you're going to take the 22,000, and you're going to times it by that 1.045. Again, type the calculation into your calculator, and you should get 22,990. Remember, you can always look to see if your answer looks sensible. So you can see the 22,000 has gone up by about a thousand pounds, so it does look reasonably sensible. Okay, as long as you can see your answer's gone up a bit, then you know you're along the right lines. Number four, in a sale, a jacket costing 38 pound is reduced by 35%. What is the sale price? So this reduced is the same as a decrease, so remember we need to take away here when working out our multiplier. So remember we always start with 100% and we subtract the percentage. So we're going to subtract this 35% here. So 100% take away 35% gives us 65%. That's it, uh, it as a percentage, so change to a decimal, divide by 100 gives us 0 0.65. So here is our multiplier. Again, amount times multiplier. So we're going to take our £38 and times it by this 0 0.65. Type it into your calculators and it gives you £24.70. And you can see that £38 has been reduced so our answer looks sensible. Question five then. So you can see this question has been taken from a GCSE past paper. So it says percentage change can be calculated by using multipliers. A final answer is calculated as follows. So £400 is increased by 26%. So there's your first part. The increased answer is then decreased by 24%. This gives the final answer. The calculation to work out the final answer can be expressed using multipliers as the product of three numbers. Calculate the statement below. The reason why it's the product of three numbers is because we can get a multiplier from this statement here. So that's going to be our first multiplier. And you can get a multiplier from this statement here. So then your final answer will be the amount times the first multiplier times the second multiplier. So all we need to do is work out the multipliers from these statements and then slot them in the gaps below. So if we start at the top, £400 is increased by 26%. So remember, whenever you're working out a multiplier, you start with 100. We are increasing, so we're adding that 26% to give us 126%. Remember, change to a decimal, so divide by 100 gives us 1.26. So there's our first multiplier, so 400 times 1.26. Then we need to work out our second multiplier. Now some of you might think you do this any different, but you don't. You start with your 100, you add or subtract, and then you carry on through. So we've got decreased by 24% this time. So the answer from this first bit is going to be decreased by 24%. So we start with our 100, we take away, because we're decreasing, the 24%. So 100, take away 24, gives us 76%. Change to a decimal, so divide by 100, gives us 0 0.76. And there's our second multiplier, and it just gets slotted into the gap, so times 0 0.76. So whenever you're working out a multiplier, don't overcomplicate it. It is the same method every time.
question six then. This was taken out of a numeracy pass paper. So Jane and Thomas own a sandwich business. They decide to price sandwiches individually each morning. At 3pm, any unsold sandwiches are reduced by 45%. Any sandwiches still unsold by 4.30 are reduced by a further 20%. So you can see there's two reductions there, one at 45% and then one at 20%. Jane says, why not reduce sandwiches by 65% at 4.30? It works out the same. So Jane has given an alternative of a reduction by 65%. Thomas disagrees with Jane. Using multipliers show that Jane is incorrect. So the question tells us that Jane is wrong and we need to try and prove it. So if we start with Jane and her multiplier. So Jane says reduce the sandwiches by 65%. So reduce, take away. So remember we always start with 100%. We're going to take away the percentage she says. So take away 65% gives us 35%. Change to the multiplier, change to the decimal, divide by 100 gives you 0 0.35. So Jane's multiplier is 0 0.35. Tom decided the reductions up here. So we're going to work out Tom's multiplier now. So we've got, first of all, he reduces them by 45%. So 100%, take away that 45% gives us 55%. Change to a decimal, so divide by 100, gives you 0 0.55. Then he reduces them by a further 20%. Now remember, you don't do anything different here just because it's a second multiplier. You still start with 100%. You take away the 20 to give you 80%. And then again, change to a decimal, divide by 100 to give you 0 0.8 or 0 0.80 if you really want to. So you have two multipliers there. So imagine the sandwiches cost, say, £5. You'd times it by this multiplier and then you'd multiply it again by the second multiplier. So to see whether Tom's multiplier is different to Jane's, we want to multiply the two multipliers together. So 0 0.55 times 0 0.8. You can type it into your calculators. So 0 0.55 times 0 0.8 gives you 0 0.44. So you can see Tom's multiplier of 0 0.44 is different to Jane's at 0 0.35. So we're just going to write a little conclusion sentence of, therefore, Jane is incorrect as 0 0.35 is not the same as 0 0.44.